Good morning. This is Mike Palmer from Mike Palmer Homes. Coming to you from a beautiful hot muggy day in Central North Carolina. We've got a home we just completed here. Um, this plan, it's an 1800 square foot plan, two car garage, so I think it's so oh, I think it's 2900 under feet under roof. Um, but we'll uh, we'll put a link to the to uh, the floor plan down below. Anyway, we call this home plan called the Princey. Now we've been building it as a 1,650 square foot version, but we enlarge it for this for this uh, individual. Number one, they wanted a larger home, and number two, the HOA requirements in this neighborhood required an 1,800 square foot minimum. So this house has a lot of features. There's a new buzzword about called we came out with a modern farmhouse, the modern cottage. So this is kind of done in that theme. It wasn't done intentionally, but it seems to have those characteristics. So we appreciate y'all visiting our site. If you want to hit the like and subscribe button, that helps us get our message out and reach more people. So we'd appreciate if you'd like to do that, if you find anything of value in our videos. But anyway, I'm going to jump right in here. Uh, this was a very kind of tricky house because we had a complicated and expensive septic system had to be on the side. Um, we had to work extensively with the septic people to make this work. Otherwise, the house had to be all the way in the back and the septic across the front. And that's a little cumbersome because it's not a real good layout. Your house is down in a hole and not consistent with the neighborhood. So we got that done. Um, and we we're fortunate enough to end up with this lot. So uh couples moving in so i'm gonna have to get this done anyway i'm gonna put, talk about some features out front on the sides we got concrete fiberboard hardy plank it's all painted white on the front we got a vertical siding we call that board and batten uh they put a stone highlight down the bottom and we like that nice big trim board a mirror tech trim board that gives it a real good look to set it off um she, she um, ordered some custom flower boxes and it's kind of got this nice self-watering function in there where you just pour the water in there and it distributes through this pipe and stores it and slowly weeps out to the plant. So that's pretty cool. We've got kind of like an eyebrow across here and we added those cedar corbels up there, stained corbels and one up at the top. A nice detail uh, on the front. They did stone, uh, stone accent here. It was originally going to be brick, but she, she changed it to stone because they kind of wanted that look and I'm glad she did it. It seems to work out real well. Um, stone, uh, stone steps with a concrete front porch. And I like this water table on top of the stone. The flashing comes out, keeps the water nice drip edge. So when water comes, it drips and doesn't, doesn't tend to not get behind the stone front door. We have Flemish glass, like a wavy, uh, obscured glass. So it lets light through and it's a mahogany front door. It's just a single, but it sure is a nice looking door. Um, I really like that light fixture on there. Now, she went with cedar columns here. Cedar columns on a stone base pedestal. We got a mirror tech wrapped beam. I like that, that detail. Uh, the wonderful siding crews do. Um, and we've got two can lights in the front porch. There's a great, great sitting porch here. And we've got our knotty pine stained tongue and groove ceiling. So let's go take a look inside. All right, come in the foyer here. This is a laminate floor, but it's new generation of laminate. It's like about a half inch thick. So it gives you much better. Uh, you may, it, it really helps. Sometimes there's imperfections in the subfloor and this bridges them really nicely and it's really attractive, durable product. But you come in, main entrance, you've got an office over here. It's a nice home office. It's not overly large, but it's still a nice office. Um, still plenty of room for a desk, and, and we put that uh, 15 light door on there, that office door. And that, that fixture, that star fixture, that's pretty cool. And we got a Curtis crown. This is the style, the profile of the crown mold we have in here. And it's same what we have here in the foyer. They, typically, we put a wainscoting in this foyer, but they put a wainscot somewhere else. So, um, And I, I think with this fireplace, you don't need a whole lot more, but they put a nice shiplap. They call it shiplap or nickel gap. And we worked hard, we had to make some adjustments on the stone to get it just the way she wanted, but we built this mantelpiece. Well, the trim carpenters built the mantelpiece. And see this, this piece of crown wall here matches what's in the hallway, so it's a pretty cool profile. And we brought in the, the stone surround. So if you look back at that, got that big stone hearth. 
And that ship by fireplace. And I'll be putting the TV up there. Look at this light fixture. That's pretty cool. It's got that, it kind of looks like it's out of a enchanted forest or something with those cedar beams. Really kind of like that look. And we've got some angled lights. They're like a can light, but they're on an angle. So they shine straight down. And we've got the cedar beam all through here. Tying right into that fireplace. That's your great room. And you look at the, you know, you look at that cedar beam and you look at the legs on the uh, island. Nice big island. And the cabinets. And look at that, look at that fixture. It's pretty cool. I, I like the one big sink. Some people like 50-50 sink or two sinks or 60-40. That's my preference, but everybody's a little different. Uh, nice range. And look at that hood. Hood kind of goes with the vertical siding out front and it's got the double decker cabinets. A lot of nice features. Oh, instead of pendant lights, you want these fixtures or they're a version of the pendant lights, but I think they would work really, really well here. And went with the pattern of LED cans. I always joke about it. I tell the customers, if you want, we can put up that uh, cloud fixture with the fluorescence with the dead bugs in it. They're really nice. Um, but I, I really, really do not prefer those. Where our fridge is going, but you look at the backsplash. A lot of people are going with the clean lines on the back backsplash. The subway tile. So this is a version of a subway tile, but it's got a little more you know, a little more variation to it. It's long and narrow instead of your standard subway tile, but people are still, still kind of staying with that theme. I remember years ago, they used to go with the pencil mold and there was a lot more detail in it, but it, it, sometimes it's just a little too busy for the eyes is the thinking nowadays. This is your mud room over here. So you come in, there's coat closet here. Oh, look at these nice shelves. Chrome rod, wood shelves, and they cost more than the wire shelves. There's an expense to them, but uh, it is a really nice feature. But when you come in from the garage, this room, you've got your laundry room over here. And she went with nice cabinets in here. Sometimes people who save expense don't put, they don't, they don't put cabinets in here or put some, some less expensive ones later. Or sometimes we just do a wire shelf. They opted to go with this nice cabinet layout. And we always fight with this dryer hoses. The flex hose is never a great option, but that's obviously for the dryer hose. You wash your dryer hookups and a nice window in the laundry room so you can see what's going on and you got some woods there. You can watch the deer and antelope play. Garage. Garage. Concrete floor. We really like the work. We like that detail out front. The guys over at Lake Norman Concrete do us a great job. We've got the uh, utility sink in the garage. This is a feature I love. They've got some insulation down on the P-trap because that holds water. It forms like a vapor lock so the uh, sewer gases can't come up from the septic and obviously smell really bad so that keep that insulation just in case there's a, a freeze which we rarely get here it's, yeah, but it protects it from that and we got a nice scrubber handle on your utility sink and so that's the garage we like to trim and finish our garages whenever possible sometimes you know, sometimes the expenses don't quite justify it, but we try to do that because it's just, this is where you drive in. This is your, um, this is your most common path of travel right here. If you just have it open or have a bunch of tools here, sometimes it can add you a lot more visual noise. And we built some wood steps here. We really strive to keep this 24 inches or less. So you need two steps. You don't need railings and they don't come and really interfere with your garage. So that's something we work hard on when we're laying out the lot and deciding where everything's going to go. All right, so that's garage, utility room. Let's go back. I'm going to take a look at the back bedrooms, and then we'll go into the master suite, which is really cool. This is called air return for your filter. It's a, located in a good spot to reach the house, but not to be too visually obtrusive. Here's a linen closet with wood shelves. Once again, we have our trim carpenters build those shelves custom. I said they do cost... They have a cost to them, but they are, you know, some people just don't like those wire shelves. It's really cool is this wainscoting here. It's a craftsman style wainscoting in the bathroom. You look at the look that that really set off. Got that simple, that elegant simplicity to it. And I kind of like the color. The color she picked here is pretty cool. They're a young couple and they're really excited about their house. So I just took some pictures with them out front. And it's just a standard fiberglass tub shower with their chrome fixtures. And I do like the... 
I like the elliptical curved shower rod myself. Helps keep the water in there. Oh, and the doors, that's a two panel door, which kind of goes well with the Craftsman theme. And we've got a seven and a quarter inch baseboard. I like the taller baseboard myself. I'm partial to it. I want the, I want the house to look good. And this is just bedroom number two. It's again, a custom built shelf with a chrome rod. That's prettier than the wire shelf. And I like these double ball catch doors. If you watch any of my videos, you know I do not like bifold doors. Neither does anyone else. They end up broken before we're done the house. So I prefer real doors with real hinges. Uh, we put the TV jack up there and we give people the option. Some people want the TV hookups down below. Some want them up high because it's, you know, they're either going to hang, hang uh, on the wall, hang their TV on the wall or put it on top of a piece of furniture. But that's something we do a walkthrough to give people the option. There's our ceiling fan. Ceiling fan with remote. Some people really like those remotes. I can't say I'm the hugest fan because of a remote for a fan because it's just one more remote to lose. Anyway, bedroom number three, you got a window face in the front, but it's pretty much the same. Same layout, same closet, and same TV jack. We like to, well, we like to wire for ceiling fans and TV jacks in, in all our houses just because everybody seems to want them. All right, so we'll go back through the core of the house. Once again, there's a tile backsplash and our hood. You get a view of that. Is your dining area. Now it's a nice size dining area. You're not going to be encroaching on the kitchen or the hallway. You got plenty of room for a table there. Look at that fixture. The chrome fixture. It's pretty cool. A little, little lampshade that goes over your dining table. You got a slider out here. Now sliders, some people aren't crazy about sliders. They're harder to get screened there, but if you screen in the porch, you don't need to worry about it. But the advantage is you don't have a door swinging and hitting your chairs in a way so you can get in and out, but it's, that's strictly individual preference. Now this, we did a concrete deck. We filled it full of gravel and poured concrete. The concrete is much less maintenance than a wood deck and cheaper than a PVC deck. But when, if a porch gets to be too high, it becomes more expensive to put that in. So it's just more customer preference. You can look at that deck over there. They did the wire rails, but uh, you know, it's just a wood deck. Um, looks like either stained or PVC. It's hard to tell from this distance. Got a knotty pine, stained knotty pine ceiling. Check out the, the fan, the nice helicopter fan with the gray, gray wood blades. It's pretty cool. Now up there on the trim, you have your window surround, you have that one piece of trim up there. Kind of goes, kind of consistent with the Craftsman theme. Here's where the hot tub's going. So we got a gas hookup, future possible hot tub. We've got two, two sconce lights over that window, but it would provide light to this area here. So we poured this pad with them. Yeah, you know, when we poured the driveway. And if you can see, spray painted out, there's a swimming pool. That's coming after we go. Or is the hot tub going here? They got the same thing. I can't remember, but I know in the crawl space, we've got a hookup for a hot tub. So um, we've got the circuit run for them. So if they opt to go that way, stone steps, powder coat aluminum railing. Again, they're kind of proud of it. And that's the backyard. But see, if we hadn't worked on the septic and got the septic over there and managed to work that in, the house would be back there. And that just doesn't seem to be a great layout. And then you have no backyard. You're down in a hole. You have this big front yard, and it's, it's kind of awkward. So we're really glad we were able to make that work out because now they're going to get their pool. And I have a similar strip of woods behind me. I really like it because there's tons of deer in there, and they come to your yard, and you always have company with the deer. So that's pretty cool, and you feel private. You know, you feel like you're in the middle of no place and get to see some wildlife. So anyway, that's the back of the house. Go check out the master suite. Oh, got your TV hookups here. Got a receptacle and a TV hookup so you can run your spot for the TV. All right, so back we go into the master suite. The moment you've all been waiting for. Oh, sometimes people put a flush mount fixture. They just went with a can light here. Well, let's take a look at the closet. That's a pantry. All oh, those nice shelves. 
So you can fit a lot in that pantry for the size that it is. Now they added some details in here and with that shiplap on the ceiling and that beam. And <laughs> there was a white smoke detector up there. We're supposed to put it at the highest spot. So we have to put it there, but it was white and it kind of stuck it, stood out. Homeowner was not crazy about that, so we were able to paint that, but we did it right. We took it all apart so that no spray paint got in the inside to affect the function of it, but it's uh, black. Black smoke detectors are kind of hard to find. Now, when you come into the master here, number one, he said that they went with wood here. We've got USB jacks on each side of the, uh, of the bed. Now they're going to type C. I love the way our, all our charge cables go obsolete fairly quickly. But, so the, so the bed's gonna go here. We're gonna have a view out to the woods over here. Um, and then you've got this big cathedral ceiling with the beam. And then your TV's, TV hookups are out here. So I'm gonna have the TV on the wall over here. And they went with uh, the laminate, laminate flooring. You know, it's, 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 a, it's a real attractive wood plank. It's from Mannington. And our, our, our sales rep over at Mannington says this is the product. You know, it's, it's probably the best bang for the buck and really do like it. It's not the vinyl plank, it is laminate, but the laminates have come a long way and they're more heavy duty. But you see the length there, they ran the tiles a long way. It's a 12 by 24 gray tile, a double vanity, same, same picture, but look, they did shiplap, a shiplap here. Got a crown mold, wood ceiling, okay, this bathroom. You get the two, you, you two lights here and look at, look at that, uh, look at those mirrors. This is, oh, faucets. We have eight inch spread in, in the master. There's three holes. There's only one in, in the other one. You go with a smaller faucet. You can go with an eight inch spread, but it's usually, most people do it in the master to save the expense. And we got a quartz splash here, the quartz top. Um, anyway, but this, if you look at this, this is a really cool bathroom. Um, we did a half wall, we did a, did a cave shower, called a cave shower or zero curb shower, zero, it, they went with the pebble, um, pebble floor. Now, this is a cool look, but sometimes when you got a caulk and the, the grout line always cracks on the end, so you put a product, it's a, a simulated caulk, but it's really hard to get that color right. It's really hard to get it along those pebbles because there's, there's not a smooth edge, so the caulk gets a little rough. So we had to come back here and redo that, and there is a blemish. That's marked for replacement on that. But anyway, other than those flaws, we've got that double, double transom window. You get your, your, uh, your uh, nutty pine shiplap ceiling. That's called a can fan. That light is, is a, like a can light, but it's also a fan, you know, for the exhaust. And there's your valve here, two niches. The niches keep the shampoo, you know, out of sight when you're walking in and out, they're kind of hidden. Um, look at this tile. That is a beautiful tile. And you got your chrome here so you can set your temperature here so you're not standing under the cold shower before it gets to what you want. You can just kind of test it with your toe. Um, I like this fixture because you've got okay, you got your wand right there. So I guess it's just an easy conversion. You don't have to have a whole bunch of valves to deal with to use one fixture or the other. I like simplicity in the shower. I like the wand. I also like like a simple conversion. I don't like to have to deal with a bunch of levers and knobs. Look at this uh, freestanding tub. Freestanding tub with a floor mount. The wand. Now this is a beautiful fixture. Okay, that does add some expense because number one, the fixture, and it's a little bit more labor to, to run it that way, but that is a nice look, that tub. Once again, simplicity is elegance in that tub. I really like the way that looks. And I like the chrome, chrome spill valve. And again, you get your wooded buffer there. Now the master closet, they put the, uh, it's a laminate, it's not wood, but it's got that wood look in there. A lot of people are getting away from the master closet and the master bedroom. They're getting away from carpets. People are getting away from carpets altogether. That seems to be the trend. This is an air return, so we just make it like a shelf so they can you know, put whatever on there and not take up too much room in the closet. They've got the chrome rods. I got that big cubby up there. And then you got shelf on top and you got the same thing on the side. Very cool. 
but we just went over their trim budget with all the ship lap and stuff. It was a it's a pretty strong number, but not too bad. Not too bad for what you get. And uh um it does cost something. It's just your commode room. You got your light can up there, you got your comfort height, elongated bowl toilet, and a, and a shower floor. Not too much to elaborate on there, but I like the I like toilet paper holder. It goes with that theme of that chrome kind of craftsman-y uh, elegant simplicity theme of the whole house. So that's pretty much the tour here. We've got to take a look at the driveway a little bit. Um, but that's pretty much what we've got. We do sell plans if uh, that helps anybody out there. Um, oh, I'm going to talk about these poles. I like these poles here. This is a cool look. And the knobs are kind of unique. Look at the spice rack. Just a couple of goodies make it all worthwhile. Let's get out here. They're, they're bringing their own custom doorknob, so we'll just put in the delt, the uh, um, dead bolts for them. Come out here. Now the leaves are falling. Looks like fall is coming early. Driveway comes up here. Now originally we had a turnaround tail here, but they said they wanted more concrete and wanted wider. And, and uh, it's tough to budget because no matter how much concrete you pour, it's never enough. And then when they're going to have the pool back there, they may end up pouring more concrete. But this came with like inches of the property line because we had to pull the house as far over this way as we could to make room for the septic. So this kind of got close. So we had to bring the surveyor back just to make sure that that corner didn't hit the property line and we missed it by like an inch or so. But anyway, so that's tour of our house. Oh, yeah, we have architectural shingles up there. Which is a nice look. It's a heavier duty or shingle. So let's take one more look at the front. Nice eight foot garage door. And that's our modern cottage. So again, we appreciate you visiting our site. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us.